Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't really planning on filming today. I had this coming up, but since my package arrived, I thought that I would do this now. So today's video is going to be a collaboration between myself and Autumn Beckman because we both ordered the same item and I'm really, really excited to see what's in my box and debating whether or not I should share it with Autumn or just wait until she gets hers because I don't think that she's going to have hers delivered until Saturday. So let me get on with it because I want to check it out and I have my little ceramic knife thingy here which you all know I have a problem with and here is my box sent to me priority mail. I ordered this on Monday and I received it already because the distribution warehouse, like most of them are, was in New Jersey. So that means that I got a fast and speed delivery. So I'm going to attempt to cut through. Oh, I got it all in one swipe. Cut through the box, which I did. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow. It must be because Autumn's involved because usually I don't have luck like that. So slide it out to see Ooh, ho, ho. and we all know that this is a bag from Longchamp and I asked for gift wrapping even though this is a gift to myself and what can I say I mean be good to yourself right so there's a little card here I have no idea I guess this is in case you're giving this actually as a gift you can fill it out. It says, please find and close your sec part mon. And it has the item number, which is not gonna mean anything to anyone because you don't know what the item is. So without further ado, I'm gonna open up the package and let's see what's inside. Of course, it's never easy, guys. What can I say? I have to put this down so that I could use both hands to undo the ribbon. And let's see how I make out. Okay. The ribbon is open. And I'm going to have to pull it out to open the bag. So let's do this. Well, you know what? I got to do this. <laughs> I'd have been here really for a week trying to do it the other way. So, open up the box and pull out this lovely item wrapped in tissue paper. And it has, oh, 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 a seal. And it says Longchamp Andre. So, who knows? what this is. Any guesses? Let's open it up and see. And just to point out, the tissue has the Longchamp print all over it. I'm going to open it up. I have to save this seal because this is really cute. So let's see. Oh, 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 oh. This is the Le Piage Extra Small, and this is the new Longchamp collaboration with Andre, who is a French graffiti artist who created this collection. And there are different names if you go on the website for these characters. And I want to say that this, I want to have to look up the name of what this particular character is. But at any rate, there are four different characters that Andre created for this collaboration. And this is available, this particular bag, the extra small. They all have this illustration and it comes in blue, a pink, a green, and the black. I think it's just those four colors. And let's give a little look. Now on the, web, on the website, it said that this was canvas, but this actually doesn't feel like canvas to me. This really feels 
very much like the nylon bags that I already have in my collection. And the trim is cowhide. It has the cowhide handles. Let's do a little Autumn Beckman spin. And we could see all sides. Here's the bottom. Of course, I haven't opened it yet. And it has these nice holes in the side so you can attach the crossbody strap. So I'm going to open it up. It's a snap and it's never been opened before, so I had to use both hands. And they have this nice piece of tissue here to protect the snap. Here's the zipper top. And, oh, this is interesting. They have the pull inside the bag. So, see, let me show you. It's zipped that way so that it can't get damaged in transit. So that's a nice little feature. So these have silver hardware. And the crossbody strap is inside. And that's wrapped as well. So let me take a look at the paperwork because the paperwork is inside and you have the patch here, which shows that it is the collab, Longchamp Andre. So if I could open it, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see the whole thing, but let me, let me do my best there. There you go. So, I'm going to tell you right now that the leather on the flap feels very, very soft. It's much softer than the leather that's on my nylon bags. This feels a little bit, no, I guess it feels really about the same as what the nylon bags are. It's supposed to be a recycled canvas, and it has a black lining, which is unusual because typically the nylon bags have a white inside on most of them. I think the Neos might be the same color lining, but most of them have a white lining. So let me just check and see if there's any information. Nope, no information here. These are just blank cards. And there is a receipt in the box. And there's really nothing interesting here except for the receipt. So I'm probably gonna come back and do a part two, get a little bit more information about Andre and do a little comparison with some of my other Longchamp bags. So stick around and we'll see what the rest of the info is that I get. Okay, so I'm back. I unwrapped the strap and the strap is also made out of cowhide, which is really nice. It's an adjustable strap. It's two pieces, so both of these pieces disconnect. So I would imagine if you wanted to, if there was a way to attach maybe another strap here, you could probably, you know, put another buckled section in between, which I really haven't tried. I really doubt that I would try it. I mean, if I wanted it longer, I would probably just put extensions on the end. But let me take a look and show you. See, it has the Longchamp horse on both ends of the clips. And I'm just gonna attach them now. And let's see. This is about the same as the strap that came with the pink cowhide bag that I showed not long ago. So it feels very much the same. And this is three holes from the end. So three holes from the end, it's gonna be kind of tough to see. It's more than generous for me, crossbody. It sits, probably can't see it, but it's like right at the top of my hip where it is now. If I went down one, it would be a really good length and it would hang like right onto my hip. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, most of the time when I use these bags though, I like to carry them top handle. And sometimes I will just attach the strap for in case I need it, because, you know, I know if I take this to the grocery store, for instance, 
if I'm using this bag, I'll carry it by hand into the store. And then while I'm shopping, I'll put it crossbody or over my shoulder. So this way I have both hands free to grab things and put it in the cart. Because we all know I'm an add the cart kind of gal. So I'm going to be doing it at the supermarket pretty regularly. But, you know, to bring groceries in, I have to have both hands. It, it really has to be done. And guys, I really apologize. My hair is looking like extra funky today. But what are you going to do? So I'm going to just show the long shop embossing in the back and then inside you know it's just the slip pocket where I showed you that the Andre patch is and then on the side there's a little origin card and this says long shop Paris made in China so you know a lot of manufacturing is in fact done in China so you know, if it says China, it doesn't mean that there's something wrong because this obviously came from Longchamp and was ordered from the website the first day. So something I wanted to point out is that this is, this kind of feels almost like an iron on. Um, I'd be really careful with the design to make sure that the design doesn't rub off because I think that it easily could, it's not woven into the fabric of the bag so that's something to keep in mind in this particular style this is mrs a kiss there's a mr a and a mrs a and this little gal here is mrs a and i think that she's just absolutely adorable so i had put a community post last week the day that these were released that would have been on monday tuesday the 26th and so far right now, they're still available. So if you want one, I would suggest to get one before they start to sell out and you can't get your hands on this anymore. But really quick, I just wanted to do a little comparison and show that this is the same size as the cowhide bag, which has a ton of structure. So, you can see that these are the same size bag. And then I have my leather. This is the cur, which is the lambskin. So you could see that these are the same, but this is the brand new bag. I just wanted to bring those out for a little size comparison. And I would say that out of all of them, Obviously, the cowhide has the most structure. I would say that this actually has probably a little bit more structure, believe it or not, than the leather. I have this stuffed right now. So this is really, really soft and smushy. And because of the way that this is pleated, this usually keeps a good shape. I don't put bag organizers in these. I like to use every inch of them. And, you know, if it does get a little bit slouchy, if you put something in it, I'll show you with the ceramic knife here. You know, it's not really going to drop down so much, and that doesn't bother me in the least. And to be honest with you guys, with everything that I've had going on, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to take an awful lot to really bother me. So, you know, a little slouch in a bag, I'm good with it, you know. I know that that's part of the design, so that's not an issue at all. So that's all I have for right now. Um, I can give more details and an update on wear and tear sometime in the future. And I think that right now, if you haven't already done so, go on over to Autumn's channel, look at her bag, and see if there's any differences. Um, see the color? I don't know. I mean... Certainly, she's going to have a little bit more detail than what I have to say, and she has a different bag. So, you're definitely going to want to go over there now and check it out if you haven't already seen, because it's exciting. So, yeah. So, we were really curious, too, to see what the difference was going to be between these bags and the nylon bags that Longchamp makes. But it seems, you know, because they said it was canvas, and it seems that really... This doesn't seem like a canvas to me. This feels like a nylon. 
So that's just my opinion. And I'm really curious to see what Autumn has to say about that. So I'm going to go watch now while you're watching this. And join me in the comments below. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. And I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.